Hey, this is Pastor Nat, and you're joining us on Win the Day from Back to the Bible. Today, we're going to talk about who you should call when life gets tough. Recently, my oldest son was disappointed about his basketball season. He wasn't happy with how it went. He wasn't happy with his team. He wasn't happy with his coach. So instead of going to Google, he came to me for advice. I can't tell you how pleased I was to be his primary source of wisdom in a challenging trial. He asked, and I provided it generously. Did you know that God does the same for us when we ask Him? Listen to what James said about this in James 1, beginning in verse 5. Now, if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith without doubting. For the doubter is like the surging sea, driven and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord, being double-minded and unstable in all his ways. In verses 2 through 4, James has given some challenging words about trials. Trials we experience are to grow us up. Yes, they are hard, but they serve a purpose if we lean into them. But to lean into them requires faith. But what do you do when your faith is struggling? James says, ask God for wisdom, and He will give it generously and ungrudgingly. This is such good news. It's wonderful. You see, you may view God like you view your earthly parent. Now, this can cause a lot of problems. Because if you've had an abusive parent, you might be afraid to admit a struggle or ask for help. You may have experienced shame and humiliation from them. Friend, God will not do that. When you need the wisdom to live with faith in the face of life's hardships, God says, ask. Ask away, and I will give it over and over and over again. He says, I will never shame you. I love you. I am thankful that you came to me instead of the world. Now, we better not miss what James also said. He said, ask in faith. Why? What difference does that make? He says, because it's the doubter. The doubter is also like a person who stumbles from God to the world and back and forth. This is another one of those word pictures. It's a word picture of a drunk person who is stumbling all over the place. But the sober person walks a straight path to where they hope to go. This is why we ask God in faith. We want to be stable in all we do. So, here's my challenge for you today. Ask God for wisdom in your trial or even in your season of life. Yes, life can be easy to do it our way, <laughs> but rarely does it work out well. So today, go to the right source for wisdom. Who's that source? You got it, it's God. So today, turn to God over Google over your friends, over social media, or anything else. When we pursue wisdom from God, we will win the day.